It's amazing how easy it is to turn an everyday object smart. For a very low cost, we can turn our gas fireplace into a smart fireplace with just a simple relay. As someone that spends a lot of time in a very cold place known as Alaska, a gas fireplace is a huge benefit for us to have. I used to have a wood stove. I've had fireplaces. Regular fireplaces are more for an ambiance than they are for warmth. Wood stoves, even though they put out a lot of heat, are a lot of work to maintain, and they can get very expensive when you look at purchasing your wood or just very laborsome whenever you look at trying to cut your own wood. So when I purchased the house that I currently own now, one of the big benefits that I love was having a gas fireplace. With a simple flip of a switch, I was able to have heat that was very warm and inviting, but it also was functional. I never really realized how important my gas fireplace was until 2022 when we had a major windstorm here and it knocked out our power for almost 24 hours. We turned on our gas stove because it was still on, it still functioned, so I was able to flip the switch and it worked still. We were able to heat our house and keep our home maintaining around 60 degrees, which to some might sound crazy, but when it's negative something outside, we've got 100 mile an hour winds and no power, that's something and it felt better than nothing. Now, obviously this doesn't work whenever you don't have power, but that's just one of the great benefits of having a gas fireplace. Whenever I am using my fireplace for convenience and not strictly to keep my house warm, I love having the ability to use a voice command to turn it on and off. However, it might be more convenient than having to get up and physically turn off the switch. What's really great is I've actually run automations before so that if my living room reaches a certain temperature, then it will turn itself on, or if it reaches a certain max temperature, it automatically shuts itself off. I ended up turning these automations off because I just wasn't working when I wanted it to. So I need to play with it some more and set some more restrictions around when I actually want the fireplace to turn on. We started noticing that the fireplace was just randomly on and we had no idea why, and I forgot that I had actually set up this automation. So wife, approval factor as a lot of us smart home people talk about uh, might be questionable there but she enjoyed it she loves having the ability the only frustrating part is when this device disconnects what this is is simply a smart outlet whoops this one's upside down here so smart outlet just like this one and a relay that i was able to purchase off amazon for about $25. I did notice some other companies are starting to enter this market i saw one as low as $19 and I think I've seen some in the $50 range that are the full built out system, which doesn't require the smart outlet. But this one was really easy to install and I really liked how convenient it was to set this up. So this was probably, these will probably run you anywhere from five to $15. And then the relay itself was about $25. I'll show you the one that I purchased. It was really simple to set up. There was just two connections that I had to make underneath my gas fireplace. And then once I made those connections, I had a bit of an interesting situation because this right here, this third prong on the bottom of an outlet is a ground. And the outlet underneath my fireplace didn't have a ground. So I had to go buy a converter that went from a two prong to a three prong to be able to put this on it. Once I put that on it, the struggle was the relay didn't quite fit in here either. I think there wasn't enough clearance or something in there. It was really weird. My struggle in my gas fireplace after installing the relay switch, was, which was honestly the easy part, was there wasn't enough clearance to install one of these outlets. This thing was too big. They make smaller ones, but this was the one I had and I wasn't gonna go buy a smaller one specifically for that. And on top of that, this has a ground and the outlet underneath my fireplace didn't have a ground. So what I ended up having to do was buy an extension cord that plugged into it, run the extension cord. So there's this big long cord underneath my fireplace now, then buy a converter that went from a two prong to the three prong, which would fit this, plug this into that, and then plug the relay into this. And then simply all you're doing is actually turning this switch off. So I renamed not this one specifically, but I renamed the switch underneath my fireplace, fireplace. And so whenever the switch would flip, because there's a physical button on these as well, whenever the switch would flip, 
it would turn on the fireplace and it would tell it to turn on. The one caveat to the style that I purchased was that if you turned it on with the switch, with the, wi with the Wi-Fi switch, you had to turn it off with the Wi-Fi switch, but it still functioned through the wall switch. So my regular wall switch. So I could walk up to the fireplace, flip the switch and it would turn on. I would then have to turn the switch back off to get it to turn off. If you turned it on through this switch, you had to use this switch to turn it off. So there's only been one or two times where the switch disconnected from the network. And I actually had to go get, I had to go get like warm gloves or something or pot holders to remove the grate from the front of the fireplace because it had gotten hot and physically pressed this button to disable or turn off the switch itself so that it would turn off the fireplace because the physical switch on the wall doesn't work anymore once this has been engaged. So that's the one con I've seen to this style device. I haven't tested any of the others that are available on the market. If somebody has, let me know if it's better, if it gives you the ability to function it both ways, might be worth the extra 50 bucks to go buy a new one, just because it's a little bit more convenient. You don't run into that error of which one's on, which one's off type of situation. But seriously, if you have a gas fireplace and you love smart tech for 50 bucks or less, you can turn your fireplace into a smart fireplace. It is super great to have. And again, like I said, you can start running automation so that whenever it reaches a certain temperature and your living room is occupied or wherever the room is, is occupied, you can then have it turn on automatically and turn off if it reaches a certain max temperature and it's too warm in there for you. So again, all it takes is a smart outlet and the relay switch. And then however, you might have to finagle it down underneath your gas stove to be able to get this to work. If you enjoy learning about random smart tech you didn't know you needed and me helping you spend money you didn't know you needed to spend or didn't want to spend, this is a great place for you. My name is Ian and here we educate people on the basics of what a smart home is. I have a bunch of content around how to build a smart home, how to set up a smart home, all different kinds of stuff. But if you enjoyed this, I'd really love it if you drop me a like down below, hit that subscribe button. Every Saturday, 11 a.m. Alaska time, that is, is whenever I post videos. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.